Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Laura Little and I'm going to be reviewing the Peel Away's Love Tapes collection. I've got all three. I'm going to give my first impressions. I'm going to swatch them for you and then tomorrow I'm going to create three different looks and it's all going to be in this one video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know if you'll be getting your hands on the Peel Away's Love Tapes collection and if you like this kind of content please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification to be told every single time I upload. Okay, let's hop right into it. So the Love Tapes collection is a story from date night through to the wedding day, um, which is a really cute idea. The packaging is always from Peel Louise was beautiful. And if you want to see me actually unbox my order, you can head over to my Instagram reels and there is a video on there to show the Pisces box it came in and all the um, wider box that these palettes themselves came in. So I've got the three palettes here. As you can see, they all look like cassette tapes. Um, we start off with date night, then we go to vacation, we go to wedding wish. Um, so the first one is date night and it says it all started with a date night XOXO. It's in the shape of a tape or a cassette and on the back it's got all the gold foil as well and it states we locked eyes and instantly I knew it had to be you. I put my sultry smokes and headed to the five star venue even after dark my eyes were sparkling and just like that I worked upon an all new love tape adventure. You coming along babe, it'll be our secret. Um, when you open it up, you've got a mirror, which is really cool because the mirror has these cutouts in it. Um, I love that. And you've got the plastic film over the top. So here's a close up of date night. You'll have to excuse my nails. I took my gels off last night. We have pillow talk, which is the like light camel kind of nude colour. Then we've got Matchmaker which is a more like light brown, slightly khaki colour maybe. Then we've got Blind Date. Then we go to After Dark which is like the first shimmer metallic shade. Then my personal favourite we've got Our Secret which looks like a copper rose gold. It could even be a duochrome, I'm not sure. We'll have to see how like it looks so sparkly. We've got Treat Me which is a warm brown shade, Reservations, which is a nice brick red, and then Five Star, which is like the perfect transition brown. And I just love this. I love the quality they put into their palettes, and I love that they're all stamped. Um, and then you've got the mirror. I'm going to put some P. Louise Base Shade 2 on my arm, and then we're going to swatch Day Night. And you can see it's here. And I'm the worst at swatching. So we're going to start with the top row and I'll start with Pillow Talk and we'll slowly work our way down to After Dark and I'll go back with Our Secret and work my way through each shade. So I'm going to use um, hopefully the same thing of them, but so I'm going to try and swatch underneath this. Oh my gosh, this is really soft. So this isn't on the finger, I swipe it back and forth like this. Um, so yeah. And I'll add a second layer of that. So these are really soft. Um, oh, it's really lovely. I've never used the P. Louise eyeshadows. I've got the bases, I've got the paints, I've got the brow products, but um, never an eyeshadow. So that's the first one. And then with Matchmaker. one swatch let's get this up. So it's definitely got a greeny tint to it so that's a matchmaker they all feel like the same um consistency which i love um, okay so i'm going with blind date it definitely looks more like a car key on my finger so that's one swatch That's too swatchy yet. That's nice and pigmented. It seems really soft. It's clean to the base well. I'm loving these colours so far. Um, so now we're going to go in with the first metallic shade, which is After Dark, which is the what I think is a dark brownie grey colour. It's like almost gunmetal kind of brownie. Okay, that is like butter. That was one swipe of that. You don't need a second. That is like look what's left and 
That needs no explanation. That is stunning. I think where it comes off almost like pewter and it's going in the next metallic shade which is our secret which I think is going to be my favourite this is soft you can sit on the finger it's quite coppery rose gold and it feels incredible and it goes on incredible like how incredible are these metallics like literally so soft and like butter and none of them have fallen out or anything like there's only a little bit of product left on my finger i'm loving this so far it's going to be shade treat me which is the matte dark brown shade again this is super soft amazing on the finger not bad not bad yeah so these ones only had one swatch because um, they don't need a second these have had two and the color is fantastic uh, right let's go to reservations which is the red oh i thought this red was going to be really full out even it's not and that is pigmented it's not gritty one of my only criticisms of the Love to Heat palette is the red felt slightly rough and this does not feel rough in any way shape or form. This feels soft. Oh. Yeah, these are beautiful. So that one was reservations. And was it staining my finger? I don't think so. I don't think we've got staining. The final one in this palette is five star. Yeah, that's a lovely brown shade. So this one's almost like sand, like a sand colour, and this one's like camel. I'm so impressed. I'm excited to get creating with these. You basically can use like these four together and these four together. Um, obviously you can mix, this one will definitely mix with these and this one, but it's so beautiful. Um, it is incredible. We've got pillow talk matchmaker blind date after dark our secret treat me reservations and five star date night
which is again absolutely stunning because I'll be honest babe things move quickly but when the pina coladas are flowing and with a dose of vitamin C how could I resist you we took a trip to paradise and I rocked my tan lines and under lilac skies I fell deeper into our love story question is will it be happily forever after this is a proper warm tone holiday beautiful palette like everything you could possibly want in the summer all of them are so beautiful these two shimmers again look like butter they look so so stunning this oh, this is my kind of heaven so we've got all nighter pina colada vitamin c and summer loving then we've got beach babe sun soaked tan lines and paradise like can we just appreciate how beautiful these palettes are like a absolutely amazing collection these oh, are ridiculous let's get some swatches let's start with all nighter and we'll go from here to here and here to here again just like we did with the first palette same consistency this is a very peachy orange shade so, oh that colour's amazing that was, that was the first swatch let's do the second yeah this is stunning like so soft definitely a holiday colour like a summer colour they probably make a really pretty blush too. Next is Pina Colada, which is the warm brown, almost like gingerbready colour, which is this. Oh, these are beautiful. Like, this might be even more of a go-to than the date night palette for me okay, now we've got vitamin c which is a slightly darker brown again these are all so soft so i don't know if i just swatched that one badly or oh, that's just not as pigmented let me try and get a better I'll take it as a dodgy swatch because that's perfect now. That one's vitamin C. And the next shade is our first metallic shade, like a summer loving. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh yeah, so that's definitely got like a, a peachy base with an orangey copper reflecting. Again, I'm not swatching this one as well, it's really annoying. It's definitely buttery, it's definitely absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> These consistencies. Okay, let's go for Beach Babe, which looks slightly cooler. Or oh, Rose Gold. Yeah, so... That was one swatch, but it's perfect. So that's definitely got a light pink base with a cooler shift to it. Or salmon kind of um and rose gold, whereas this one's like orangey copper tones. Then we're going on to Sun Soaked, which is a it's almost like a pinky brown colour. It's definitely brown, but it looks like it's got like a pinky undertone, maybe a reddy undertone. It's like this on my finger. It reminds me of like a lipstick shade that I can't place right now in my head from that. It's really nice. 
they're all really soft they're exactly the same consistency as the other palette um it's tan lines which is definitely like a sunburn tea it's a dusky dark pink like this on my finger oh it's a much brighter pink on my swatch yeah i'd say it's definitely like a sunburn kind of color but this would go really well with the red tone out of date night as well and then finally it's paradise which is definitely like a a more that's like an orangey peach shade whereas that's a pink peach shade paradise yeah that's like a slightly warm baby pink so again an amazing color story for this palette definitely perfect for summer definitely perfect for holidays and it's going to be beautiful for weddings too like these tones and like this for bridesmaids and stuff it's going to be amazing um i've got a few people having rose gold makeup themes for their bridesmaids and that's going to be amazing with it this is going to be one of my go-to's in summer and autumn like imagine that in autumn with the dark brows then we'll start from the top so we've got all nighter pina colada vitamin c summer loving peach babe sun soaked tan lines and paradise i think this one's going to be my favorite though like i love date night for like a night out but for summer this is everything <laughs>
and it says our final chapter was a wedding wish um i pressed play on our last love tape and all of my dreams came true the perfect proposal started a new journey of endless love i laced myself in the softest of sparkles and all eyes were on me i never expected you to put a ring on it but babe that was our destiny i'm forever yours how cute is that um i also love that on this one she's got like the flowers and they're not on the other two yeah so you've got everything for all the brides like some brides really like a smoke and someone it really like pale and this has everything you possibly want for that wedding um client unless they're having one of those crazy bright color things which <laughs> right up my street if anybody has a wild color themed wedding and they want crazy eye makeup hit me up um so the first one is wife the other side which is the really deep brown again it's a soft consistency this one mm -mm. I don't know if this one's going to have a bit of fallout because it's got my finger a bit different or it could because my finger's getting dry now from the amount of times I've had to clean it. Let's start. Oh no, that's fine. It went on really well. But that's literally was one swatch and then I went over it to tidy it up a bit. I haven't put any more product on. We'll do the second. Keep all the mattes fair. But yeah, that went on perfectly. Like it's definitely soft so we may get fallout if used with a brush the first one and that is hashtag wifey the next shade is ring on it which is this one shade ring on it wait for that finger to dry oh yeah that's a bit nice isn't it This reminds me ever so slightly of tan lines from the Be Perfect Tita palette. The next shade is Proposal, which is this light browny orangey shade. This is yeah. This is your top transition shade for this colour story. I think they I really like these shades. I know this will be good for like everyday wear get away with these for most days um like all year round next one is invite only so our first metallic wow that that felt almost wet to touch if it was that creamy um and i don't know about you but that is crazy um that is more pigmented and some pigments like just look there's like nothing left on that finger other than base it's like oh, that's outstanding she has got these shimmers down to a t this is so damn beautiful prom girls brides are gonna freaking love this yes Paige. i want to scream from the rooftops about this one okay the next one is commitments so we've got and that's this like pink toned shimmer again felt absolutely almost wet this is much more champagne colored in person whereas that was much more gold can you see wow that has a pink and like white gold shift I think. Oh, I've got another bit on so we can get the longer swipe. Wow. But this is beautiful. And you know what? This would be a cute highlighter too. On the inner corner and stuff. And this would probably be a really good highlighter on darker skin tones. Oh, that's so nice. The next one's Hitched. So this like baby pink shade. really light this one okay yeah so this is really pale to the point i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but on um pale skin tones that's gonna be stunning 
to say I'm pale skin tones, like I'm not pale, it's just I wear tan or have a tan most of the time. Uh, but it'd be good as a transition. And then the next one's Forever Yours, which is a deep, dusky pink. This would be a great lip shade as well. If this was a liquid lip, this would be beautiful. Um, this would probably also be a good blush shade. It reminds me slightly of Hibiscus, but um, from the Tahiti palette wouldn't be perfect, but definitely this is deeper. Um, and that would be a really good smoke for people who like the pinks. Um, oh god, look how beautiful these are. And they've got Endless Love, which is this really pale nude colour. Okay, that one's really soft too, like Forever Yours. And you can see this is like a nudie cream colour. That's almost my skin tone with this base on. That, um, probably, I could probably get away with that as an under eye powder. <laughs> um, it almost blends into the base perfectly. I don't even know if you can see it. Hashtag wifey. Ring on it. Proposal. Invite only. Commitments. Hitched. Forever yours and endless love. so happy I bought these. These are going to be a staple and I'm going to use them I imagine just as much as my Be Perfect palettes. Um, let me know if you want me to do any particular looks with them, if there's certain colours you want to see on my eyes in the comments and I can always do extra looks for my channel. Um, but I'm very excited to use them during wedding season. If you like this video, please go hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, 
and hit the bell notification to be told every single time that I upload. If you'd like more content from me, please go follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Laura Whittle in Your Way. See you all again very soon.